This is the biggest scam of the year and this must be investigated. What is the justification for introducing 2000 rupee notes? You withdraw a 1000 rupee note and a 500 rupee note and introduce a 2000 rupee note. In fact, it makes life easy for the man who's holding currency. How do they get the 2000 rupee notes? Is it going directly from the printing press to them? How does anyone get 34 crore worth of 2000 rupee notes? This is the biggest scam of the year and this must be investigated. They are simply saying the income tax department is investigating the matter. This is not a matter of investigation only by the income tax department. This is a criminal act and this requires a criminal investigation. There should be a comprehensive special investigating team to investigate how 2000 rupee notes have found their way to these individuals all over the country. When they said everybody can withdraw up to 24,000 rupees a week, they must have made their calculations. So when I go to a bank, why am I not given 24,000? A complete mismanagement, which is why Dr. Manmohan Singh said, monumental mismanagement. The 500 rupees is the note of common currency today. Can you move about in Bombay or Delhi, Mumbai or Delhi, can anyone survive a day in Mumbai or Delhi if he is taking an auto or a taxi or eating? Can he survive with less than 500 rupees? Why did you withdraw the 500 rupee note? There is no answer. Urban cooperative banks have been allowed. Private sector banks have been allowed. And district central cooperative banks have been kept out. Why? Keeping out District Central Cooperative Bank is a way of punishing the farmers of this country. 45 crore people in this country depend on earning a daily income. If that income is not coming to me today, tomorrow nobody is going to compensate for that. If I lose my income today, I lose it forever. This is a completely thoughtless move. Nobody in the world has a good word to say about it. Every major economist has condemned it. Every major newspaper in the world has said this is a completely absurd move of the government. A leading RSS spokesman has said the 2000 rupee note also should be withdrawn. I won't be surprised if they do that. In fact, the whole game may have been to lure people to keeping 2000 rupee note and then declaring 2000 rupee also is illegal. So no longer it is the old objective of black money, counterfeit currency or terrorist funding. Now it is a new goal. The goalpost is shifting. Suddenly they've discovered cashless economy. Sorry for my pronunciation. Koda Pahad Nikli Chukia.